Everybody's been talking about the Captain Boost, which is a new feature in MLB The Show 23, which gives attribute boost to your players. While that's cool and all, let's not forget about the OG. By OG, I only mean it's like a year old. And I'm talking about the parallel grind for players. Parallels are back in MLB The Show 23, and for each level you go up, one through five, it gives you a plus one attribute boost to every single stat. So for example, the contact right on this card, once I get to parallel five, will be 119. Power versus righties would be 98 and so on. One of the cooler features they've added in recent memory. But getting this player to P5 can be a grind. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys the fastest way to parallel your players, whether it be a hitter or a pitcher. First things first, you need to decide if you are paralleling a hitter or a pitcher, because the way you go about it is going to change depending on that. Hitter-wise, say I want to parallel this 90 overall Lars Newbar. So I didn't realize till this year that Lars Newbar was Japanese. But in your lineup, make sure that whatever card you want to parallel, you have him in the lead off spot doesn't matter who it is we could have nolan arenado who's just a middle of the lineup hitter we would put him in the lead off spot if we want to parallel him. and then pitching wise if you're going to parallel pitcher obviously just make sure you have him in your rotation then you're going to come over to single player and you're going to play versus the cpu yeah playing versus the cpu can be incredible incredibly boring, but this is far and away going to be the fastest way to parallel your players. What am I doing? Before we get into that, these are the ways that you can parallel your player. You get one and a half PXP if you play in any online mode, and then one PXP if you play versus the CPU, Conquest, mini seasons, or basically any offline grinding. Every plate appearance gives you 10 PXP, a single gives you five, 10 for a double, 20 for a triple, 20 for a home run, five for a run, five for an RBI, five for a stolen base, five for a wall. So basically any contribution your player makes on offense, it's going to parallel. Pitching wise, it's the same thing. It's one and a half for any online grinding and then one for any offline grinding. You get 40 points for every inning you pitch, 20 for a win, 10 for a strikeout, 10 for a quality start, 20 for a save, 20 for a hold, 25 for a complete game, and 25 for a shutout. In case you couldn't tell by those numbers, it's a hell of a lot faster to get a P5 pitcher than it is a P5 hitter. And there's a reason for that. Now let's go into play for CPU. This is where things really get different depending on who you're P5ing. If you were doing a hitter, you should come over here and play versus the Rockies on rookie difficulty. And when you do the Rockies, you're going to be the away team because you want to get as many bats as possible. So obviously we want to start. We choose the Rockies because they have max elevation. It's freaking Colorado. The ball flies out of there. So playing on rookie versus a too bad team at a max elevation stadium, it's going to give you the best chance to hit a home run, drive people in, or just have some success, even though it is offline grinding. So we got Lars Newbart, the guy we want to P5. We're gonna obviously do our at-bat here. Oh shit, we actually hit a home run. All right, I didn't embarrass myself there. So about two years ago for offline grinding, if you quit out right after that home run right there, it would count all the PXP towards your player and all the stats would count. Now, last year, SDAS gave us the big middle finger basically saying like, no, you can't do that. So instead, you gotta make your way through the lineup once. You gotta go through nine batters or you gotta play the game. So essentially, we gotta go through this entire lineup for those stats to count. Generally, if you're playing on rookie, if you got a good team, you're playing on rookie in Colorado, you can usually get that in the first inning, second inning at the latest. Oh, we hit a home run there with Harry Ford. I'm gonna fast forward it to once I get through the lineup because this is ridiculous. Two seconds later. So whenever I hit, I just go from base to base because if Lar Newsbar gets up again this inning, I wanna have as many guys on base as possible. So even though I could have scored a run or two right there, generally you just go one base at a time. So more runners are on. Remember each RBI is worth what, five points? Double down the line. All of a sudden we are through the line now. We're gonna, oh my God, why? Hello, 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 hello. What the hell was happening? What is going on? Why aren't people running? Okay. Okay, we made it through our lineup. Lars Newbar is up again. So right here, if I wanted to, I could exit out the game. All the stats from this game account, Lars Newbar would get his PXP and whatever. It took like five minutes to do. But you're at this point and Lars Newbar is up again. Do the extra bat and then after this at bat, you quit out. So we'll do that bat here with Lars Newbar. See if perfect. we can get some more PXP. Line drive, of course. Perfect, perfect freaking line out. Wow, that is a... Wasted opportunity there, but we don't need to pitch. We can go, we can just confirm quit, exit right out of this game. And even though we got the quick disconnect game reward, we still got 50 PXP for the large snooper that we're grinding out. So it took about five minutes to, you could definitely get, this is the fast way to do it. There's really no 
fast, fast way to do it. It's still gonna take a lot of hours to get him all the way up to P5. That's gonna be the fastest. Have your player bat lead off, go in, get him two at bats, then quit out right away. And you just keep doing that over and over again. So right now we would go back to play for CPU, go to the Rockies, play in rookie, and we would do that all over again. Now let's talk about pitchers. Same thing, we're gonna go play for CPU, but this time you were gonna play the worst possible team you can think of. I'm gonna go with the Oakland A's because they are terrible. 49 contact, 52 power. Yeah, they suck. We're gonna play in rookie difficulty again. And last time we played on away because obviously we want to start out on offense. We want to get as many bats as possible. This time we're gonna be the home team and you're definitely not playing that course field. Find a pitcher's friendly park. We'll play at like Dodger Stadium or something. Then choose the pitcher that you want to P5. We'll go with Yoshinoba Yamamoto. Dude, I totally messed that up. So not that we're the home team, we're P5 in a pitcher. He is starting out on the mound. And then we also, because we're going to probably be winning, we don't have to pitch the bottom of the ninth. It's just going to save time. You usually don't quit out of this. You just want to strike out. So I hate pitching in the stretch. And to make it faster, I always intentionally walk the first guy of the inning. And then it's on rookie. They're not going to be very good. You're going to get a ton of strikeouts. And of course, he's going. And we're just going to completely hose him. So I'll walk this guy again. And then on rookie, the ball just comes in like a million miles per hour. So you should get a very good amount of strikeouts. Or at the very least, I'm guessing you're going to pitch a complete game shutout, which is going to give you a ton of PXP. Well, we actually didn't get a strikeout that inning. All right, but we got all the first super quick. Once you get up the bat, because you don't care about anything when you're batting, I just bunt it. I want to get out of this as fast as I possibly can, and I want to make this game as quick and painless as possible. So we'll generally either do that, or if I just want to get PXP with players like Kandoho here, if I want to get PXP with him too, or I got missions with him, I'm going to hit... And if I hit it out, so be it. I hit an absolute blast right there. Not exactly what I wanted to do. Bon Rookie, you should have already won with this. The thing that I'm trying to do is if I hit a single or something, I just keep running till they throw me up. Same if I hit it in the gap. I'm getting the PXP for getting the single, the double, or whatever, but I'm also getting out. So it works out for both ways. Oh my god, we're hitting too many perfect perfects. God damn. That's not gonna get out though. That is off the wall. So Harry Ford, we're just gonna keep running until they throw me out. So I'm once again I'm getting PXP. XP for a triple here, but I should get out at home play if make a good throw. They do, so it works out perfectly. His best case scenario right there. And now we're back to pitching. Same thing. We'll intentionally walk our first guy, and then we're just gonna pitch all fastballs as fast as possible. And we're gonna get out of this game. These shouldn't take more than like I'd say 15 minutes. But that is what you do for pitching. I'm gonna sim the rest of this game just to show you how much PXP you get from a pitcher compared to a hitter. One eternity later. Hey, there we go. We finally finished the games. We played nine innings. We won three to zero on rookie. Let's take a look at this tits that we put up. My man Yoshinobu put up a complete game shutout, only giving up two hits, 18 strikeouts, 10 walks, and no runs. What is stat line? Let's take a look at the PXP we got. Enough to apparently get us to P1. So that game took a little over 20 minutes. So about four times as long as it takes to do the hitter, but we only got 50 points with the hitter. With this one, we ended up getting 506 points from that one game. One game, we got over 500 PXP. 10 times more than we got with Lars Nupar, and he hit a freaking home run. So as you're seeing, it is a hell of a lot faster to parallel pitchers than it is hitters. Like significantly faster. To get to parallel one, it's 500 XP. Parallel two is 1250. Parallel three is 3000. Parallel four, 5000. Parallel five, 10,000 PXP. So it's a lot, it's a grind. If my mask cracked, if we put up a stat line like that where we got 500 PXP, in order to go from nothing zero pxp all the way to p5 it would take 20 starts like that so it definitely is a grind to do it but it's significantly shorter with pitchers you could probably do it in like five hours compared to hitter probably like eight nine hours so let me know what card you're gonna parallel first in mlb the show 23 subscribe to the channel if you're new we post daily mlb the show 23 content and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out